you hide the defense I carry. I want to show you something that happened to me with a, a gas lens. Um, I bought a few gas lenses for my new um, my new Everlast 255 EXT. And, and by the way, this is a one uh, a 110 uh, a, a 220 unit. It comes with the adapter plug. And uh, it's very nice. Well, anyway, I'm going to show you the gas lens. What had happened was I was welding some steel. I'm making up a uh, a project over there to to hang uh, a um, a tool chest off in between my other two tool chests. This particular one over here, and I was going to use this off for my TIG stuff, right? <clears throat> and uh, so I'm I'm welding some some steel that I purchased. I didn't clean the steel. Even though it's not rusty, um, <clears throat> uh, you know, this could easily, like with light gloves I was carrying, it leaves a black residue. So it, it, it's really coated. It really should have been cleaned. Now, the issue, um, the, the issue I ran into was inadvertently, I set the machine up for DC for, you know, for welding up steel. And I, I set my ampage about a, about 140 amps and so forth. And uh, I share the, the 240 voltage in this building with that heater up there. And I can't have both on at the same time. And right now we got, uh, we got we're in the teens, the weather. You know, so I heat the building up. And then when I, I do the welding, to make a long story short, I shut the welder off. And then, and then I put the heater off, and then I come back. I put the welder on, and it 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 um, it has like settings in it a wood memory, and it went back to the AC. Okay, my fault. So I start to weld, and uh, with the, with the gas lens, I'm using these cups, and I'm getting all kinds of blowback. You know, sparking, sputtering. So the first thing I think of. Uh, gee, do I got all going on? Yeah, yeah. I was running. You know, I did the, I, uh, you know, the test with the pedal, pushed the button over there, and uh, I, I had almost almost twenty um, a CFH on it. You know, w which is sufficient. So I'm going to show you what happened. I couldn't find anything online, but I ruined these things. You know, because uh, the machines knew me. And uh, uh, you know, I wanted to get it going, and the weather, the weather's working against me, and so forth. So let me show you what the um, gas lens looks like when you take it apart. All right, all right. This is a CK um, three thirty second gas lens for a number two series torch. This happens to be a flex lock, uh, a C clay. Uh, water uh, water cool torch now <clears throat> it has eight eight segments in it and I'm going to show you close-up photographs so what happened when uh, the um, I got the contamination from the steel you know I was running on the AC and it contaminated um, two of the screens wound up you know so I went on YouTube, and the only thing I could find was something that uh, Mr. Tig was uh, talking about on Weld.com, and you know he said try to take one of the one of the screens out. It has eight screens, so I could have just tried with a needle picking up. And the way they the way they have these set up, they have two screens sort of like uh, attached to each other. You could pull them apart, but that's the way they lay them in there. And uh, I'm going to show you, I want to show you close-ups of these. 